Okay, so here I am once again with this Arbutus burl wood. Um, so I'm going to take this home. I'm going to carve a wood spirit at home. First of all, I'm going to block it up with the chainsaw here. But this burl here, you guys can see it's pimply. I think it's ugly like this, okay? I don't like it like that. So I want to clean it up with my grinder and stuff. Make it a smooth surface so you can see the, the, pimp, the bird's eye. If it is bird's eye, I'm not too sure. I'm not a pro on this. But instead of using this piece first, I got I got this one here. Oh. With this burl on it here. So what I'm gonna do is hook up my saw and slice this burl off, sand it up and see how it looks. Okay, so I got that bad piece set up in the jaw horse. And look at the bird's eye in here. All this wood will go brown in no time. There's a there's a bug hole. But yeah, so there's the piece that I sliced off. Get it in the sunlight here. So, anyways, I'll take this home. Maybe carve a, carve something in this 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 here. But so now what I want to do is get this one on the on the jaw horse, cut it so it stands better, then clean up that burl so it's not bumpy, and block in a wood spirit, take it home and carve it. Okay, so I think I've been fooled by Mother Nature. This piece, like you see here, it's not really, it's burl. It's more like brain stuff with cracks and stuff in there. Here's a bit of bird's eye here, but I can't see bird's eye where the really pimply stuff if you go over, hold on. If you look at this piece that's all pimply from a different tr from a different tree, both are arbutus. Like, look at the bird's eye in there. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask Pete if you got to go into the heartwood to get to the bird's eye uh, burl effect. Yeah. So I don't know because on this one, I don't think I really hit the heartwood yet. But you can see it there. Anyways, hold on. See? There it is here. But it's not here. Well, I guess there's a bit there. Anyway, it's still neat anyways. Okay, so I got a little dilemma here. So, I've been messaging with Pete. Pete's the expert. Pete will know. I asked him if the heartwood not the waterwood if the heartwood holds the true bird's eye like you guys can see some bird's eye in here right but you see more of it here because i'm still in the waterwood here that's the outside wood the softer wood but so this one the heartwood is full bird's eye so i haven't grinded this down here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grind this down and see what the waterwood looks like you know i'm not going to grind it down to the heartwood because in this i know there is bird's eye in the heartwood but let's grind this down and see if there's bird's eye in the softwood because if there's no bird's eye in the softwood and it kind of looks like this one well that means i need to i need to grind this one down more to get to the heartwood does that make sense to get to the bird's eye the bird's eye hiding in there okay so here's the answer for myself and everybody else this is still the waterwood and look at all that bird's eye in there so i don't have to get into the it's all different oh this is a different tree than the other one right so you can see the white wood and the purple wood there so there's your answer i don't know what the answer is the answer is all trees are different right pete but uh thanks for taking the time to uh, answer some questions so what i'm gonna do first i'm gonna take this one and just carve a basic face in here so you can like i'm gonna leave it very basic so you can see the bird's eye in it right i know there's cracks here and it's gonna continue up here don't care i think it will give it more character right so I'm going to do a test carve on this one at home with my Dremel. And this one right now, I can see this cracks here, but they're kind of going this way. See that crack? It's kind of going up this way. And I can see these little cracks in here going this way. So I think I'm going to, which way do I want to display the piece? That's the question, right? So how do I want to display it like this? I think it looks better like this. 
So that's where I'm going to carve it. I'm going to carve the face right here. And with this bird's eye burrow, you know, I'm going to have to do some deep sanding. So I'm going to have to spend a lot of time sanding, just like Pete says. I said to Pete, I just messaged him. I said, should I carve deeper and there'll be more birds in there? He goes, he thinks I'll have a better, I'll have a better answer for myself if I sand deeper, which means like take it up to, I don't know, a thousand grit to make it really shine, right? Make that, make this burl, bird's eye really pop and the brain cracks. Okay, so I'm gonna block this out quickly with my wood spirit, then go home and uh, we'll probably vi be video number two on Arbutus Burrowwood. Yeah, Arbutus Burrowwood, that's what the title will say. Hold on, before I start carving, let's do a water test on this so you can see it. See all the bird's eye in there? So the nicer you sand this stuff, the nicer it's going to look. I hate sanding. Okay, so I'll take this home and carve it with the Dremel now, even though this is hardwood. And here's that one, just blocked out with a chainsaw. He's going to have hair, so it's a full full head. And um, yeah, I don't know. Oh boy, hardwood, hardwood. You guys got one of these? Yeah, that's what I use when I really screw up my chain. For you that don't know, it's a chainsaw, chain sharpener. This one was expensive, it's an organ. I've only used it like two times. But anyways, carry on. 